Hello, everybody out there. I'm Brian West, and I welcome you to another edition of Virtual Frasier. Today, I am dressed up in the costume I wear at the museum as Holt Collier. Holt Collier was a famous bear hunter who lived in Mississippi during the turn of the last century. He helped President Teddy Roosevelt hunt a black bear, and out of that bear hunt in Mississippi came about the beginnings of the plush toy we know today as the teddy bear. However, because of our current state and times, I'm not able to perform as Holt Collier at the museum, or pretty much anywhere else for that matter. But I think we can still do a bear hunt around our own homes. But first, I think I need to change my clothes because for this bear hunt, you won't need a rope or a gun. Right now. Okay, all you guys will need for this teddy bear hunt is your imagination, a plush toy of your own choosing, and your parents' permission. This is a teddy bear hunt that's happening all over the country today. It's happening in places such as Miami, even places like Denver, places like Kentucky, and even also this hunt is worldwide. There are hunts for teddy bears happening in Canada and as far away as New Zealand. Now what happens is that kids all over the world go outside with their family or drive around their neighborhoods with their family finding teddy bears all around their neighborhood. They also might keep a pen and piece of paper handy to keep a tally or the numbers of how many teddy bears they see for each trip. After they've done that, they might go on social media with their parent or legal guardian's permission and share with friends and family how many teddy bears they found for that day. This is a fun activity that's happening all over the world. But to make sure that this fun is safe, here are some guidelines that I would suggest for you and your family to follow. First, remember to ask your parent or legal guardian permission to display your plush toy or teddy bear at your window or at another window at your house. Also, remember to practice social distancing outside. Be sure if you're walking with your family to find teddy bears around your neighborhood that you're keeping a nice, safe distance from others. Also, Keep your plush toy inside your house. Now your toy needs to stay safe and healthy at home too. Keeping a number of trips to a bare minimum for your toy will keep it, you, and your family safe. Next, if you and your parents are not comfortable with walking around finding teddy bears, another suggestion would be to take a car ride or a trip around your neighborhood and finding teddy bears displayed at your neighbor's houses. Then once you go home, you guys can tally up how many bears you found on that trip. Finally, if it's okay with your family, you can share your trip and your findings, whether it be photos or a tally sheet with the number of teddy bears that you found online through social media. And here's some hashtags you can use. Team Kentucky, Lift Up Blue, Healthy at Home, Kentucky Safe, and last but not least, Virtual Frasier. Now, I'm well aware that during these times, there's a lot of uncertainty that's going around among many people. And because of that, people might not know what to do. And that might be the same for this activity. So if you find yourself not really having any idea about how to get started with this activity, whether it be a boy or a girl, a parent, or even a little plush toy, what you can do is go to this website. You can go to the Facebook page for the Great Canadian Bear Hunt. There, you'll find how Canadians are doing their teddy bear hunts up north. Also, for boys and girls, 
But right now, you can think of ways of how you can display your teddy bear. The page on Facebook is also a good place where you can find that. Okay, that about does it. On behalf of the staff and crew of the virtual Frasier, I want to thank you all for watching this. And be on the lookout if you happen to be around Germantown or Schnitzelburg for Papa Smirch. Thank you.